Right now, the city of Monroe is considering removing fluoride it puts into its drinking water. The city is the latest of many Wisconsin communities to consider removing or reducing the chemicals concentration in drinking water. JT Siskowski has you covered on the debate surrounding fluoride and health. Leaders for the city of Monroe have been gathering lots of opinions on if they should remove fluoride from their drinking water. Concerns include cost, health, and what other communities are doing. Whether to strengthen dental health by having fluoride in drinking water has been a debate for decades in city council chambers across the state. Ahead of Monday night's city council meeting, several Monroe residents submitted comments in favor of removing the chemical. One wrote, quote, I urge you to consider the potential risks and uncertainties associated with fluoride and to support the removal of this chemical from our city's water supply. I believe that this decision will prioritize the health and well-being of our citizens. Pushback has been led by several dentistry organizations, including the Wisconsin Dental Association. Fluoridation of community water supplies is considered one of the most significant public health advances of the 20th century. On behalf of all of the adults and children living in Monroe, the WDA urges local officials to maintain fluoride in the municipal water system. In total, Monroe's water utility estimates that continuing to add fluoride to the water costs the city $11,500 per year. In July, minutes from a village board meeting show Marshall also voted to remove fluoride from its drinking water. This list, included in the materials for Monday's meeting in Monroe, show a majority of Wisconsin drinking water systems do not put fluoride in their water. However, many of the largest, like Madison and Janesville, do. Debate here in the city of Monroe is far from over. While the city council did recommend removing fluoride from its drinking water, the issue goes back to the Judiciary and Ordinance Committee, where it will be discussed further before coming back to the council for final approval. In Monroe, J.T. Siskowski, 27 News.